I think a huge part of this program is it's really designed to help you learn how to learn. As a software engineer, the field welcomes people who can learn and pivot around new technologies. My name is Bevan Zargas Griego. I was in the first Hack Reactor cohort here at Galvanize in Denver. You're not here to learn a technology stack necessarily that's going to be gone in a few years. You're here to learn how to read technically, pick out some of the patterns that are built around software engineering. Even though it's a new language, you're going to be doing things that are similar, just in a different like vocabulary, basically. It, it's a different community. I mean, I attended two colleges, and I don't know if I feel I have a particular affinity to them. It was kind of pushed me through the door. And here, seeing alumni come back uh, who aren't like, you know, business founders looking for cheap labor or something, you know, it, it's an actual community experience. It's people generally coming back and trying to share their experiences and knowledge and how to move forward with my own career goals and then just how to give back to it as well. So I think career services, just reaching out to people, applying to jobs tends to be fairly uncomfortable, but Chris and Angela have been there giving really solid advice and making, I think, all of us do it. So there's something to be said for actually physically doing it and realizing how simple it is or how well you can prepare and progress. I, I don't think you have to come in here hardened, but you have to understand that you can't base yourself on other people's learning. This is a personal journey. It's about learning for you and being comfortable with the fact that some people are gonna be faster or slower. Can you basically take three months of super intense roller coaster and do you want to significantly impact your career growth? Just in my cohort, there were two people who felt they were very weak and they had never coded before. I think a few of us had some pretty reasonable experience and they just felt down on themselves. And I think part of that was that sense of community. We all kind of were like, you guys know more than you think you know. And the fact that they've made it through and. I think to a certain extent, they feel imposter syndrome, I think we all do, but just seeing them build through that, uh, it, it's not about your ability to know things, it's about your ability to learn things, and I think that's the fundamental thing people need to take away from it.